not gonna believe how much I pay for this bag. If you don't love the brand, don't waste your money. It's the queen of my designer bag collection. Hi guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Jocelyn and I make videos about fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. In today's video, I have a highly requested video and it's finally here. Since I started my YouTube channel, you have been asking me about my designer bag collection and today is the day. I have 21 bags. They're here on my bed. That's why I changed, you know, the background, right? Because I wanted to feel comfortable because I'm going to be showing you 21 designer bags. I didn't know that I have that many. Hmm. Maybe I need to size down to maybe 15 or 16 or maybe not. Who knows? But you know what? That's the number that I have at the beginning of 2021. And with that being said, let's get started because I don't want that this video takes forever. Okay, the first bag that I want to show you is the bag that I wear to the office. And I'm talking about this a gorgeous a tote. Yes, it has a little bit of scratches, but it has been with me like forever. This one is from Mansour Gabriel is a really sturdy and absolutely gorgeous tote. It's made of soft lambskin leather. As you can see, it's very sturdy and it keeps its shape. So that's one of the reasons that I am obsessed with this bag. This bag fits my laptop. It fits like three notebooks, my lunch, my cell phones, my whatever. I can fit everything inside of this bag. And for that reason, it's one of my favorite ones. Next, I have my beautiful Mulberry Base Water Smooth Tote. So, so cute. It has this beautiful gray color. It's more like a taupe color. It's between taupe and gray. It's very beautiful and it's so, so cute. It has this removable strap. I tend to wear it like crossbody it thing fits really good i'm five seven for your reference and that for me is really important very roomy it has a golden hardware and it's absolutely beautiful i love that this bag has a little bit of a hermes inspo here right the design is pretty similar and i love that it's sturdy and it keeps its shape the next one is a bag from gucci and is the only gucci bag that i have and I believe this one is the Metalas, Metalas, Metalas. I'm just gonna go to here. And is the smaller version, is a mini. I bought it at LAX when I was going to my trip to China. I was at the airport and I took advantage of the duty free. I bought it because it's so, so cute, right? And if it's just my phone and just my phone, honestly. <laughs> it's so so small that is not that practical at all. I wore this every day when I was at Shanghai, China. Received tons of compliments. It's a beautiful mini bag that just fits your cell phone and nothing else. Pretty much. The next bag is one of my favorite ones and it's this basket by Loewe. And I bought it at the beginning of 2019. Yes, last year. This little basket goes perfect with spring dresses or your summer attire, right? Because the basket just inspires, you know, summer, spring. And I'm really looking forward to wear this basket again on spring and summer this year. Next, I need to mention my Teddy Blake bag yes because it's super sturdy i received this bag as a gift um, because i have worked with them on a collaboration like uh, three months ago and i am impressed about the quality of teddy blake bags honestly before this bag i had this bag before that i bought with my own money I bought it like four or five years ago and I bought it because I wanted a similar design of my Hermes and this one is pretty similar, it's pretty sturdy and it looks pristine. So when Teddy Big contact me if I wanted to work with them, I was like, yes, absolutely. And yes, this is the bag that I received for that collaboration amazing bag amazing every time that i wear this bag i receive tons of compliments 
is super roomy and yes it's absolutely gorgeous i love my two teddy blakes and by the way teddy blake is having a huge sale right now from the 15th up to the 23rd of January of 2021. They have sales up to 70% off. Yes, so right now is the time to buy Teddy Blake bags, pretty much. <laughs> and I got a discount code. So when you access through my link and you use this code, you're gonna receive $20 off on top of already discounted prices. So yes, right now is the time to buy a Teddy Blake bag. Next, I have this cutie, is the Chloe, is the Nile, and it's absolutely gorgeous. I love this bag so much. It has this beautiful taupe color. It's the small version of the Nile bag, and I love the bracelet. It's so, so cute. It's like wearing a bracelet and a bag at the same time, right? It's so, so cute. This one was super in like three years ago and I bought it, I'm obsessed with it and I know that it's not on trend right now but it's so so cute that I'm just gonna keep it forever. It's so impractical, you cannot fit your phone, you can only fit maybe your keys, a lipstick and some money, right? And that's it. It's just a very cute purse, honestly. It has this strap so you can wear it, you know, crossbody or, you know, like on your shoulder. And it's absolutely gorgeous. I'm obsessed with this one. For sure, it's going to be part of my collection, like forever. At least that's what I'm saying right now. And it's so, so cute. Next, I have my Louboutin. This is the Tori. Yes, this one is the Tori and I bought it on the pre-love market. I'm not wearing this bag a lot, of course, because the situation, but yeah, I bought it like three years ago. Next, I have this huge bag. Well, it's luggage, <laughs> but it's part of my collection and it has been in my closet, so it deserves to be shown as part of this video. This one is the Louboutin Kepo, and I believe it's the 55 and it's very convenient. I bought it on the pre-love market for like $300 or something like that. It has the patina here at the handle and that's okay with me. And it has this uh, shoulder strap that is a very, very convenient because when you're carrying a lot of stuff inside of your bag, it's a little bit heavy to be carrying with the handle. So this shoulder strap is very, very convenient. This one is one of my favorite bags. I'm not wearing it a lot, of course, but for sure it's going to be part of my collection. I don't know if forever, but as of right now, yes, it's going to be a part of my collection. <laughs> Next, I have a vintage bag that is part of my collection and is the only bag that I have from Fendi is this one and I bought it. You're not going to believe how much I paid for this bag. I pay $40 on the pre-love market. I knew the seller and she was like, I just want to get rid of this bag. And I was like, are you sure that it's authentic? And she's like, yes, it belonged to my mom. It's authentic. I have the papers. I have everything. I was like, and how much you want for the bag? She said, uh, give me $40 and I'm fine. I was like, sure. So I bought it. I paid $40 and that was like four years ago. I have seen this bag that they're selling it for $500. Score with this bag, it's a beautiful, beautiful bag. I think this brown looks beautiful with a dark wash jeans, right? It's so, so cute. It's very practical, very roomy. It has this beautiful, beautiful golden hardware with the FF logo of Fendi. So, so cute. And it has pockets everywhere. It has one pocket here at the back. Oh, look at this. I have some papers here. Ooh, and money, all right. <laughs> and it has another bag here, which is very convenient because you can just put your cell phone here, right? And when you open the bag, boom, you have more bags here. So you have a zipper bag here and you have 
another bag here and it's in really good condition so i score put this back another vintage bag is this one from dior is the saddle bag and when the saddle bag was starting to be you know on trend I was like okay let me check the pre-love market because I know that this was a re-edition right so I was like okay I wonder if somebody is selling their bag and they don't know that it's on trend right now and yes I found somebody who was selling this bag for $200 and I bought it it's vintage it's not you know the latest models but look at this it has this beautiful golden hardware with the cd and both sides right and the d of the dior and this beautiful oblique design so so gorgeous it has a little bit of discoloration as you can see but you know what for the price i think that i scored honestly i am so glad that i bought pre-love first because i discovered that the shape of this bag is not very convenient and practical for my lifestyle so yes i am happy to have this bag however I don't find this bag very practical. I don't see myself spending like those almost $3,000 that these bags go for right now. So yes, this is my only saddle bag that I have in my collection. And since it's a classic, I'm just gonna keep it forever, I think. Next, I have the Prada Re-Edition and i bought this one recently i bought it before the pandemic happened i think that i bought it on february of 2019 and it's a beautiful bag i am obsessed with this bag it's so so cute it's very pricey and i was looking on the preload market and it's even more expensive there so i pulled the trigger and bought it and new I'm so glad that I bought this version because it has the chain here but it has this strap that is removable and you can wear the strap as a belt right and you can detach at this one I use it sometimes as a wallet this little guy but yes you have three options with this bag it's not a very classic bag it's more like an edgy type of bag however is very convenient and i am obsessed with it moving on this is a new baby and this is the jacomus bag it's so so cute it's not the chiquita one is the legrand and i am so happy to get this size because it's pretty convenient okay it's brand new okay you have seen it as part of my instagram photos because i need to put to work this baby <laughs> and yes highly recommend this, this one this one has a shoulder strap that i don't find it really practical because since it has this handle when you're wearing it you know across body this handle is on their way so it doesn't look very polished i don't know i just i just like to wear it just like this and yeah I think this is more convenient and it looks more classy that way and I bought it on white because as you can see I don't have a lot of bags on color right and yes I need more colorful bags but you know what white cream black of course are my obsession and I bought it in white and this one is perfect for the upcoming spring and summer and you're gonna see it way more next i need to mention this one because i am wearing this a lot and i am talking about my clutch from louis vuitton i paid for this little guy like six years ago about 200 dollars on the pre-love market right now this little guy retails for almost 700 dollars in fact i am finding myself that i'm wearing this a lot right because i can fit my cell phone my keys a lipstick and i can be running errands with this one i just grab it like this right and i can just be doing my things and yes 
pretty convenient. Okay, so I have seven bags left and let me tell you that these seven bags are by far my favorite ones. You have seen them as part of my YouTube videos, my Instagram. There is one bag that probably you have not seen it because that's what I got for Christmas and I'm gonna show it to you, okay? All right, so the next bag that I want to show you, this one is the Dior Tori Monte. I'm finding myself that I'm wearing this a lot, especially because it's super convenient. You can wear it cross body, okay? And the length is just perfect. And on top of that, you can adjust the length of the strap as well. So super, super convenient. You can wear it like this and you have automatically a shoulder bag and it's pretty, pretty convenient. Or you can wear it as a clutch. I personally wear this bag across body because I find this bag amazingly comfortable and it's very easy to mix and match with other items that you have in your closet. I love that it has a back bag. It's super convenient. You can put your phone here and avoid opening and closing your bag. I have a full review of this bag, one of my first videos. The only con is that it's very easy to scratch. You have seen this scratch and yes, I did it. Pretty much immediately when I bought it, I scratched it and I was like, oh my gosh, okay. And that's what happened. But this is for sure one of my favorite, favorite bags. Okay, let me open it for you. I have some documents here and money, but it's super roomy. You can fit your phone, your keys, uh, you know, your wallet, and yes, yeah, pretty roomy. Very versatile, one of my favorite bags for sure. If you want to save a little bit of money on your Dior Tori Montaigne, you can find this bag for less than a thousand dollars on the pre-love market. If you don't mind buying from the pre-love market, highly recommend that you look over there because you can find really good deals without paying full price. Next, of course, that I need to show you my Bottega Veneta pouch and I love it. I'm obsessed with this bag. However, <laughs> there is a lot to say about this bag, okay? It's very impractical and you can find the same design everywhere, right? So yes, it's pricey. It's a very pricey bag. I don't think that is worth those $3,000. Honestly, you buy in the brand more than the bag, okay? Yes, it's high quality, absolutely, no question about that. However, look, I keep my bag with these dust bags because I don't want to lose its shape. If you remove the fill, right? Look at this, you have this sad bag and it's not pretty. <laughs> This is the reality of the bag, okay? So if I want to wear it, I need to fill it. Okay, so I need to put the dust bag so it doesn't lose its shape. And that's a big con, right? For the price of this bag, oh my gosh. So I wear it like this. I just put some, you know, dust bags and I just put my stuff, right? If I'm gonna put my phone, I just put my phone, my wallet and whatever, right? so it can look like this right but yeah as you know it doesn't look like that so it's pretty impractical it's a beautiful bag with high quality but yeah it's very very impractical on top of that the design right is it's a pouch okay you don't have a strap the only way that you can wear it is just grabbing it like this right and yeah, on top of that, you can see a lot of replicas. And honestly, you can find a good replica with soft leather for less than $50. So am I recommending this bag? Only if you love the brand. If you just want to keep with the trend, don't waste your money. Honestly, don't waste your money. There are so many similar bags that look like this 
and if you don't love the brand don't waste your money next well speaking about pouches right that look sad well i found that mansur gabriel has pretty much almost the same pouch with soft leather for way less money so this is mansur gabriel and it has this finish here at the handle and it's exactly the same it's a pouch i keep it you know with some fill here and it has a bag here at least it gives you a bag <laughs> which is a good thing same thing it looks pretty sad when you remove the fill okay <laughs> yes that's the reality but they look incredible so yeah let me just put the fill back and this is the way that i'm wearing it right put this fill and then i just put my cell phone same case and voila you have your bag but in comparison with the bottega veneta look at this they look the same it's the same vibe right this one is three thousand dollars this one is a six hundred okay so you have a designer bag for way less money yep highly recommend this one right instead of the bottega veneta one but yeah this is this is the bag one of my favorite ones right now next i have a chanel bag this is the double flap bag is a vintage is a fabric it only has a leather here at the corners and i bought it on the pre-love market and again you're not gonna believe how much i pay for this beauty i pay 800 dollars on poshmark poshmark can verify authenticity for you and i bought it i bought it i always looking for deals and i wait i wait and i found this one pull the trigger right away and i got it for a hundred dollars love it it requires some help i think that i'm going to try to restore it a little bit because the fabric looks with a little bit of discoloration but i'm okay with that because it's vintage it's gorgeous it's a beauty and it's a chanel getting a chanel for a hundred dollars <laughs> oh my gosh that's a deal so let me show you inside so it has the beautiful red lining okay so it has the logo of the chanel beautiful 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 and this is the only double flap that i have right now right now i had a chanel double flaps before i had a silver one and i had a white one i sold those this is the one that i'm keeping right now as part of my collection and i am pretty happy with this one okay so we're down to three bags only and these ones are my obsession and you have seen this all the time as part of my videos and i'm talking about my chanel kelly bag this bag oh my gosh this one has my heart i bought it two years ago for my birthday i love this bag so I think much that you have the idea because i grabbed this bag for like everything it has this back pocket here super convenient because you can fit your phone and you avoid opening and closing your bag because i am so picky right when i'm opening my bag i don't want you know scratches here on the hardware <laughs> and this is how it looks of course that i have something here inside of my bag so i keep the shape of my bag and this is how it looks it's pretty pretty roomy sometimes instead of a kelly bag you find it as a jumbo bag and it's a vintage chanel doesn't make this ones anymore you can only find them on the pre-love market i pay for this one about <laughs> two thousand dollars two years ago and right now i have seen these bags for thirty thirty five hundred dollars so of course chanel prices have been increasing and 
this one was an investment so yeah i don't see myself getting rid of this bag for sure one of my favorite ones if not my favorite one and yes i am obsessed with my chanel kelly bag the next bag that i have i just got it for christmas it was a gift from me to me <laughs> and i had this on my mind like forever and i pulled the trigger and i bought it this one is the bottega veneta cassette bag it has the golden hardware it's super super soft smooth roomy gorgeous obsessed with this bag i still have the plastic here because i just want to keep it there just to avoid scratches and it's a simple bag honestly it's pretty similar to the dior the tori montaigne i can wear a crossbody you can adjust the strap it's a beautiful bag obsessed with this bag you're gonna see it a lot as part of my instagram photos and as part of my youtube videos <laughs> super lightweight it smells like leather still oh my gosh yes smells so good receive tons of compliments every time that i wear this bag why i think because it's a very trendy bag right now i don't think that it's going to be a classic like a chanel bag for instance i don't think so however it's very beautiful and i am very happy with this bag i bought this bag at selfridges if you're thinking to buy a cassette bag i highly recommend that you get it from there i don't know what's the deal with selfridges but when i saw the price i was like that's 500 dollars less than bottega veneta and all the websites what's going on i don't know what's going on i pulled the trigger i was like yes i'm <laughs> saving 500 dollars i'm just going to add the link on the description box below and last but not least my favorite the queen of all my bags needs to be my hermes bag this beauty is gorgeous and as i told you is the queen of my designer bag collection this one is a vintage kelly 28 on the box leather with a golden hardware i bought this bag when i finished my masters in business and since it took me five years to finish my masters when I was studying, right, and I was, you know, doing homework and, you know, all that kind of stuff when I was in school, I promised myself when I finish my master, I'm going to get myself a Hermes bag. And that's what I did. So this is my reward of finishing my MBA and well deserved, right? And it's beautiful. I am obsessed with this bag and i take care of this bag like a baby okay of course that i have some fill here just to make sure that it doesn't lose its shape and it's a simple bag with the hermes quality okay so it's beautiful love it so much and yes it's in really good condition no scratches i bought it on the pre-love market as i told you and i think that i pay four thousand dollars for this baby I was saving for this beauty and she's beautiful and i will never get rid of this bag of course because it means a lot to me and it's gorgeous all right guys so this concludes my designer bag collection Please let me know which bag from a designer bag collection was your favorite one. Am I thinking to get rid of some of designer bags? The answer, I don't think so. <laughs> I love all the 21 bags at this moment, but who knows, right? Sometimes I want a bag and I start looking at my collection and I'm like, which bag should I sell, right? And it's really hard right to decide but sometimes i just need to let it go so the new babies can come in and join the collection right all right guys so thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this video as much i enjoy filming it and please continue watching videos here i'll see you there